Psalms 34, 18, it says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. As well as Proverbs 14, 32, it says, When calamity comes, the wicked are brought down. But even in death, the righteous have refuge. You see, we have to stop waiting for someone to come in and do what God has called us to do. You know what, I'm going to say that one more time. We have to stop waiting for someone to come in and do for us what God has called us to do. You see, we have to be that, that change. We have to stop dividing ourselves into these groups and into these cliques. We got to come together and be the people of God. You see, the church is like a radio. And without batteries, it's useless. It's good for nothing. And the believers are like batteries. The, the believers give life and energy to the church. Just like the Spirit of God gives life to us. You see this, this is just, this is just a building. But when the believers come in, I said when the believers come in, we bring with us the Spirit of God. And the church becomes alive with God. You see, I ask all of you that are here and all of you that may be touched by all of our efforts, that you bring this same spirit with you wherever you go, whatever you do, that we might be that change. Yo, hey look man, this was a huge mistake. I never intended to rip you off. A mistake? A mistake that got someone shot and a liar on the run? I'm not a liar. I'm just trying to do what's right. Listen, you don't make anything right. I'll tell you when it's right. And Dave, you better have my money. Cause the next one I shoot, maybe someone you consider very, very close. You don't have to do that. I got your money. You know what? I found a funny scripture in that fairy tale book you gave me earlier. Exodus 22:14. If a man borrows anything from his neighbor and it is injured or dies while he's not with it, he shall make full restitution. No. My mother. How did she get here? Did, did Pete do this? You put her here. Don't play with me. After you were shot, your no. mom could not no. bear. No! As she collapsed. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. Where are you going? These are the babies of drug addicted mothers, many of whom are your father.
This is as far as I go with you. The rest of the journey, you. You have to do yourself. You can't leave me now. Where am I? What about my mother? Who's calling me? You've answered none of my questions. An incredible journey you've undertaken here, my friend. Who are you? We'll get to that. How are you? I've caused so much destruction. Uh, according to your file, yes, you have. How's my mother? Your mother will be fine. Who are you? Hmm. Let's begin with my introduction. I am someone who can help you and help you in a hurry. You can call me a friend. A friend? Where am I? Unlike the others you have encountered, I'm not here to warn you or scare you, but to commend you. Commend me? What are you talking about? You have been the problem in your community that you yourself complain of. I don't understand. Listen, you complain of the drug epidemic. Yet you justify selling it because you don't use it. You have been working for me longer than you think. Are you Pete's supplier? <laughs> supplier? No. Yet I would say that uh, Pete was a loyal employee as well. I want you to acknowledge that you will work for me. And I will assure you that Pete will go away and the police will never know you were involved. And my mother? Oh, and your mother will be okay as well. I can assure you of that. How can you assure my mother will be okay? Are you a doctor? Doctor? No. But you could say that uh, I want to be a loyal friend to you as you have been to me. What are you talking about? Take my hand and work for me. And I will assure you all the riches in the world, plus power and respect, and I will assure you that your mother will be fine and she'll live a long and happy life. That's crazy. I don't even know you. What is your name? Lou. Lou what? Lou Cipher. Or as my friends call me, Lucifer. What? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no! Times of the dark, this night. In the times of the dark, there's light. Um. Lord, I know you hear me. I know you hear me. Lord. Lord, I got these demons in my head. They don't let me get no sleep. They got me screaming in my bed. Lord, on the rail, this shit hurt this bad. Not smoking weed, shit it had me feeling earth this bad. But then I realized I was high during my depression I medicated myself, I ain't pray for no confession I straight sedated myself, I ain't fully learned the lesson That life in itself, regardless of the pain, is still a blessing But, better safe than sorry, better late than never, Lord I know you see me trying to get my life together, Lord But it's hard knowing all the obstacles that face me A music industry that just as easily replaced me About time and patience, something you need to acquire Which I don't Oh man, don't start with that. Don't lecture me. You don't want the doctor say he needs to quit. But when the time comes, Lord knows it'll be another day. But when the time comes, Lord knows it'll be another day. Is that him? Yeah. But when the time comes, Lord knows it'll be another day. Damn. But when the time comes, Lord knows it'll be another day. What up, boy? What up? Does that belong to me? Oh, yeah. We're handing over. It's all left. Uh... I'm sure.
leve. Oh, God! My child! Here we go. This is a good one. I'm sure there's a good explanation for that. <laughs> Mike, don't interrupt. I'm about to read a scripture. Here we go. This is a good one. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, so there may be meat in my house. Hey. I'm a little bit perplexed. Should I start raining fire and brimstone? I can't. I can't. Uh, man, or should I start killing? God says he is a jealous God, and somebody has God's money. I can explain that. I was just telling myself, self, if there was a problem, how should I handle D? Let him go. What? Man, let him go. Boy, you lucky. What? Man, let's take a walk. Put the gun away. Did it bother you? Yes. Yeah? I mean, no. Well, which one is it? A man need to be precise with his answers. Never wavering, Brandon. For he that wavereth is like the wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. No. Better. real simple. All I want is what belongs to me. Look, I can't explain. Hey, no! No, no. I don't want you to explain. Just tell me where it is and I'll go get it. So there's no more screw-ups. No need to be ashamed. Just give me the address. It's not that easy. Yes, it is. I can go get it and Man, right look! No more excuses. Just an address. Your girlfriend has it, huh? Ah, you want more of a percentage, a raise. You deserve it. How much? Let's talk numbers. I was once like you, eager, ready to be like Tony Montana. The world is mine. Hey, Pete, we may have another problem.
Man, look, Dave will be in the warehouse. Whatever happens, he do not leave there alive. You heard me? Man, no one steals from me. I'm gonna make him an example and a lesson to anyone that steals from me. Let's go. I can't see. I can't see. You have news to get. I'm so annoyed. I can't, can't see. see. Dave, you have been blind for many years now. From your feet, so. What's going on? Who's talking to me? He has been talking to you your entire life. You just have never listened. Dave, is that you? <laughs> What am I gonna do? What can I do? What happened to you, boy? Look like you done seen a ghost. We need to get out of here, but first I need to go look for something. What are you looking for? That money in your bag? Is that why you're running and all out of breath? Yes, where is it? You have it? Oh, the question is not if I have it. The question is, what are you doing with it? I can't do this. Do what? Trouble have you gotten yourself into? What is going on? What is all the yelling about? Are you ready? Ready for what? I'm here to pick your mother up for Bible study. Oh, it's not a good time, Marie. No, that's it. We need to get out of here. Please, someone, just help me get out of here. Where's the money? It's right here in my purse. And if you don't tell me where you got it or why you acting the way you are, I will burn it. Do you understand me? Okay, I'll explain everything in detail. Hey, man, you ever think we add into the problem? Listen, don't get all philosophy on me. We do what we have to do. If it isn't us, it'll be someone else. I'm just saying, man, we was at service last week. Look, don't start with the church name. You know how many people have died in the name of religion? Well, do you? I wasn't even gonna say that. What I was gonna say is, all right with that garbage stuff, man. Listen, bro, you need to get your head in the game. It's real out here. You want to save lives? Go be a pastor. I hear I'm bald. Hey, man. Hey, man, I need a hit, man. You got me, man. Come on, man, I got you next time. I need a hit real bad, man. Please, man, I need you to help me out, man. I, see that. I ain't got nothing right now, but I'll get back to you, man. Pretty, man. I decided you live or die. Pretty, man. I just want to hit, man. I'm pretty, man. I'm pretty, man. Good, right? See, my brother, that's power. I don't need no story from an old fairy tale book. Some days it seems like the world's gone crazy in every single way When half of my homies are phonies, the other half are laying in the grave Caught in this moment of solid emotion and pain that stem from deep inside of me I'm searching for these better days, better days See if everyone is here. So what did I do wrong, huh? I feel like it's all my fault. I feel like I worked so much that I let you fall victim to this kind of life. It wasn't you. Might have to take responsibility for the things I've done. I made my own choices. So what do we do now? Who's trying to hurt you? Who's after you? I can't tell you that. Look, all I can tell you is that I want to make things right and put this whole big mix up behind me. Just let me make things right, Ma. Right, Ma. Why, son? Why? 
Why did you choose this kind of path? You know we gotta call the police. No. If you tell the police, they gonna kill me for sure. You just have to let me figure this out. What? Are you crazy? What is there to figure out? Oh, I'm not gonna lose my son to this. And you won't, Ma. I promise. Why? Why, Lord? Why? Where did that money come from? I have not been perfect. It's, I've done a lot of things that I regret. I'm sorry for hurting you and letting you down. You haven't let me down, son. But you gotta tell me what's going on. Is it drug money? Oh my God. How many more sons and daughters do we have to lose to this poison? I taught you better than that. Mom's. Have you not seen what it has done to our, our, even our own family members? Mom, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know what I was thinking. Hey, it looks like you've seen a ghost. Have we met before? Not face to face, but we've met many times. Sir, no disrespect, but I have a lot on my mind right now. God looks past your faults, he looks for redemption. Sir, I don't know if you know how bad I mess things up. God will find fault. That part is correct. Sounds like you're giving up. Whatever you're going through, God will see you through. Just have faith, son. All the faith in the world couldn't save me right now. Faith can't stop what's already been set in motion. Look into your heart, for you already may be saved. Tell me what kind of foolishness are you in? And don't walk away from me when we're talking. Well, everybody wants to talk and talk. I just got through talking with the janitor. What janitor? We don't have a janitor in this church. Now stop your foolishness and let's finish talking. He's over there. Shooting victim? Victims? Yeah, right. It was drug related. They get shot a hundred times to live. If we even get scraped by a bullet, we die. Life's a joke. Yeah, they can't kill each other fast enough. If they'd all just die. Yeah. I just finished interviewing our victim. The bastard won't talk, but he did mention the name Dave. Dave? Is that it? Maybe I should gather all the Daves in the city and make it narrow it down. This is no time for jokes, and I'm not in the mood for your jokes. Is there a player named Dave? I don't know, man. Dave's a pretty common name, but I'll ask around, see what I can find out. Okay. Also, get me the information on the, the shooting victim today. You think there's a connection? Not sure. Yo, let's meet up at the warehouse in an hour like we discussed earlier today. I don't care where we meet, but you better have what's mine. You better not be up to anything. I will kill everyone you claim you love. I'm done after this, okay? I'm not up to nothing. I'm just, I'm just trying to turn what's yours. But I'm done working for you after this. <laughs> done? Yes. I will say our business arrangements is done when I say it's done. Pastor, I think Helen and her son might be in trouble over the conversation and they are not themselves. Tell me, what's, what's going on? Pastor, have a seat. Hello? You don't say. Thank you, Pastor. I was actually just looking at something that may be related. Who's there? What do you want? But with the heart, one believes and is justified. And with the mouth, one confesses and is saved. What are you talking about? Look, man, if you're here to kill me, then kill me. 
Many have died in far less than what you have experienced. Have been shot. Yes, you have been shot. Yet, you are still alive. Is that not a miracle? A miracle? Who are you? Let me see your face. Look, man, what do you want? Why are we having this worthless conversation? Conversation, yes, but far from worthless. For upon this conversation lies more than what you can imagine. So you're here for the money you're attempting to finish what you started, right? If we confess our sins, he is just and shall forgive us for our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I can never be forgiven. I messed everything up. Tell me who you are, man. Please. Forgiveness has already happened. You can call me Paul. I've once doubted myself and persecuted many. I've walked blind for three days. What are you saying? To open the blind eyes. To bring the prisoners out from the prison and them that sit in darkness out from the prison house. What do you want from me? You're confusing me. It is not what I want from you, but what actions that you take and what is in your heart. Lord, I know it's been a while since we've talked, but I know you haven't forgotten me or left my side. I ask that you forgive me for everything that I have done and everything I must do. Yes, I did. And I don't expect this to be a waste of time. Far from a waste of time. Like I stated before, I can talk to the state attorney and tell him how you helped us in this investigation. Uh, but I'm not making any promises. That's fine. But why should I have loyalty? I have a scar where a bullet pierced my skin. I have pending charges, so I can care less about your promises. They wanted me dead. Yeah, loyalty? Forget about it. You, you, you want to tell me something or add something to your statement? There will be no statement. But what you need to do is get to the warehouse on Flamingo Road, reference to a major drug deal going down 8 p.m. How major and who's involved? Detective, have a seat. Let me explain to you something about my associate, Pete. Smart move for you to show up, even if early. Where's Pete? Follow me. I didn't steal from you. Not only did you steal, you attempted to make me look like a fool in front of my boys. Correction, my family. You know what? You don't need to drag this on anymore. Where's my money? Slowly. Any surprises? Die here today. You don't have to do this. I have your money. Maybe I should rob. 
like the pastor does his congregation, or a priest abuses little boy. Maybe I should conquer the poor. Come first things to kill. Kill them if they choose not to. They're the criminals anyway. My faith lies not with men, but with God. Man, hey, shut up! You wasn't talking that stuff when you were selling my poison. Forgiveness. How many of us use this word and have no idea of the power that's contained? Has anybody out there ever been lost? You know, Peter comes to Jesus and he says, how many times must I forgive my brother? Up to seven? Jesus responds to him by saying, no, not seven, but 70 times seven. He's saying here, don't put a limit on how much you can forgive, especially to those that are lost. Again, I say, how many of you all have ever been lost? Or how many of you all can honestly forgive? You see, I know you may have heard of the shooting that happened two weeks ago, but something you may not have heard is about a boy named Joseph. You see, Joseph was nine years old and he lived in a house that was behind the warehouse where the shooting occurred. You see, the doctors told Joseph and his parents that he may never walk again. But this is not a story about whether Joseph will walk again or not. It's about what Joseph told his parents. Joseph said, I don't want the shooters to go to jail. He said, I want them to have a second chance. He said he knew that Jesus would forgive them and that young Joseph wanted to forgive them too. You see, Joseph may not survive this shooting, but he's decided to forgive them, especially those that hurt them. You see, we must be the change that we seek to see. Amen. Yes. Amen. You shot me, but you didn't kill me. I was loyal to you. Just the gun. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Matthew 11:28. Take it easy. You passed out outside the hospital. We initially thought you suffered a heart attack. A heart attack? You must have someone looking over you. It appears you passed out, but your heart seems fine. How was my son doing? He was admitted in this hospital earlier. He's stable at this time. Can I see him? Well, first things first. Let's make sure you're okay, and once you're okay, you can go check on him. Are you a family member? I'm the detective assigned to this case. 
Doctor. I'm sorry, detective. You're gonna have to leave. Hey, baby. I got 20. I need something. Come on, baby. You know I'm a steady customer. Come on, baby. Don't do me like that. That's right. I'm gonna get you back, all right? Hey, yo, at this pace, I'm gonna be rich quick, man. All these repeated customers. Wait. Ain't that that, ain't that that female with that little girl? Little girl? No, the one with the little girl. She got kids? Yeah, that's her. And still a loyal customer. And one up and coming. Mommy, I'm hungry. It's okay, it's okay, baby. You'll be eating soon. I'm okay. You really need to stay away from stress. And it seems we're out of here today. Oh, good. When can I see my son? Well, let's get you better first. And once you're discharged, you can go see him. Oh, no, nurse. Where's my son? I have to see my son today. He tell my mother and forgive me for all the hurt I've caused.
How's my son? Your son will make a full recovery. Oh. The bullet missed all his vital organs, so oh. it'll be just fine. Thank you. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doctor. You're welcome.